I'm Teresa Strasser and you're on the list. Fall ball is back and Tribe Town is ready. Mike Brookbank breaks down tonight's big game and the excitement building around Cleveland. At number one, Smack Talk. Then you're crazy. I know you are, but what am I? Clevelanders are dishing out a healthy dose of game day chatter directed toward Rays fans. We can kick Tampa's butt. I don't think that should be a problem. Here in Cleveland, you know, we represent uh, true fans. People in Tampa just bandwagon when they make the playoffs. But of course, Floridians are sending an equal amount up north. I lived there for a while, and it, uh, there's no reason to live in Cleveland. <laughs> Cleveland's going to get crushed. They will die tonight and have a long winter. We can't let Rays fans get the last word, so Walter and Louise sum it up for us. Down, Tampa, you're going to fall. <laughs> You should have never came here. You should have just stayed in Florida. <laughs> At number two, baby ball fan. There is no better day to come into the world than Wahoo Wednesday, and we found the tiniest tribe fan rocking his team's colors. Meet Wyatt Porter, going home from Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital Friday with a care package that includes an Indian's onesie. Doesn't he look cute? New mom, Dexeray Porter, says the Indians teach an important lesson when it comes to parenthood. We work as a team. I'm the mom, I have to feed, and he has to eat. At number three, game day grub. Cookies always taste a lot better if we win. On the list of Indians-inspired food, these Chief Wahoo cookies selling like crazy at Kudrowski's Bakery in Amherst. Over at Melt Bar and Grilled, the Rocktober Raider sandwich is on the menu in honor of the playoffs. And at Greenhouse Tavern, they're serving up Indian Summer, a drink to help wash down a win. Eat up Cleveland, and of course, go Tribe. Now you're caught up and clued in around Cleveland. I'm Mike Brookbank.